as absorbed. The second part is used in the conversion of ADP into ATP to also perform its place in the dark reactions. So the ADP is called adenosine diphosphate. And the ATP is called adenosine triphosphate. So here we can notice that the difference is the di and the tri. So here This molecule, here I forgot the E, consists of the following. We have adenine plus sugar called ribose to get the adenosine. And here we have triphosphate. So the adenine plus the ribose plus the triphosphate. Here, this kegel we use to join between the phosphate groups. So we have here triphosphate. Three phosphate groups linked to the adenine plus sugar. Ribose is a sugar, a sugar called ribose. And here those kegels are representing the linkage between the three phosphate groups. So the adenosine diphosphate also is the same way, but we remove this third phosphate group to only write two phosphate groups here in the equation. So this is the structure of the adenosine diphosphate and the adenosine triphosphate. And the adenosine triphosphate is written as ATP, adenosine diphosphate is written as ADP, and the ATP is considered the cellular currency of energy. The, any type of energy which is found inside the cells is represented by ATP. So this is a universal currency of energy inside the plants and animals also. So these were the light reactions which end by the NADPH2 which carries the hydrogen to the dark reactions and the adenosine triphosphate which also goes to take its place in the dark reaction and 